Hey guys, today I want to talk about is it safe in the Philippines walking around at night, walking around during the day, walking around in Manila, and traveling throughout the islands. And a lot of people, I hear them talking about this, and I got to tell you this, I do not ever feel unsafe in the Philippines. I feel totally safe everywhere I go for the most part. There have been a couple of times when I'm walking down a side street or something, I look around and I back I back up and say, all right, I'm not, I'm not going to walk down here, I'll walk down another street. And um, I've walked through Manila one time and my girlfriend told me, don't walk down this side street. Usually the Filipinas know um, whether it's safe or not, or somebody will warn you if they see you going down there. Maybe one of the vendors or something will say, be careful going down there. You know, usually people are really, really good like that and they'll give you a heads up. But you also have to have your eyes and ears open as to what's going on and what's going on around you. You need to have eyes wide open wherever you go. Now, as far as traveling around in the Philippines, going to some of the islands, some of the other islands, like people say, this the sections of Mindanao you got to watch out for. Yes, there are. There are places, obviously, where you want to stay away from. You probably want to go on um, the embassy website, see what places on there, whatever travel warnings are out for some of these places. You can usually look those places up online and find those places pretty easily and stay away from those places. There's a few islands um, you can stay away from. Those warnings are pretty easy to, to find. But we're talking mainly here about safety as in like getting robbed your house broken into things like that you know if you stay away from squatters areas and i'm not saying all squatters areas are the same because they're not this squatters areas that you can walk in and you can feel totally totally safe and have no issues and then there's other areas that that are very iffy um usually people around there know ask around check before you go in there with somebody if you have a girlfriend that lives in one of those squatters areas be very, very leery and careful about going into a place like that because it's probably not a, a great place to go and it's probably not safe. Um, there are expats that live in those places, but they try to get known by people and they usually kind of hand out like a few bucks to those people um, that, that live in there so they get left alone because they're, they're income to those people. Um, doesn't mean that you have to give money to those people. Some people, some of those places are totally safe. They're okay. No issues. Um, for me, I wouldn't live in a squatters area, let's put it that way. You know, it's, it's all about staying safe in the Philippines. You know, when you're moving about, you're, you're probably going to feel safe after you've been here for like six months. I never feel unsafe walking in Manila during the day. Now at night, would I want to be walking around in Manila? Probably not. Those are the times that you're probably most likely to get robbed versus during the day. At night, probably like anywhere after like, a, a you know, 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. at night, you're probably most likely to get robbed because they're going to target people that are drunk walking down the street. Maybe they're going to see if you're walking kind of funny to see if you're, if you're drunk or whatever. That's what you got to watch out for. You got to be careful to stay away. Put, don't put yourself in a predicament where you're drunk and you got a wallet full of money um, and you're walking down the street and you're flashing money, you know, running into a, a store or something to get some soda and you open up your wallet and the guy behind you might be looking in your wallet or whatever. The guy might see it. Or somebody outside might be watching to you or the, you might stop at an ATM and they see you pulling out money. Those are things you don't want to do past 10 p.m. at night. Don't get any money. Don't don't set yourself up, you know, unless you absolutely need to have some money. Put money in a money belt or whatever for an emergency. And you know, it's that way, you know, it's always there. You know, if you need a ride home in a cab or whatever, you just pull your belt off and you pull out a thousand pesos or whatever or 500 pesos and you can pay the cab and you're all set put extra spare money emergency money and a money belt a good black belt with the zipper on the back that you can open up and you can pull some money out of there i tell people put five put five thousand pesos in there and if possible put it in five hundreds or whatever and put a few hundreds in there too so you have emergency money for cabs like i said for whatever for, for whatever because you know what they might not have to change. And then you're stuck paying the guy 500 pesos for a ride that might've cost you 165 or 200 pesos or what have you. You always need to play it safe in the Philippines. Always have emergency money. Always have, you know, and, and hide your wallet. Put it in a zippered pocket so nobody can pickpocket you or what have you. Um, also, you know, be, be leery. When you're walking through these places, always watch what's going on. I always watch who's behind me. I watch who's in front of me. I watch who's on the side of me. And I also have my backpack. I have a backpack. It has 
It doesn't have the, the thing for two arms to go through. It has one for one. And so you can sling it over your shoulder and walk and you hold on to it too. Well, when I'm walking through Manila, what I do is I wear it in my front and I sling it and I have it right here so I can grab it and nobody can cut it, cut it open or what have you. And that way they can run off with whatever they get from your bag when it hits the ground. You know, you, be, be very leery of what's going on around you. You know, don't put too much in there. Spread your stuff out on your person and make sure you have zippered pockets when you're walking about. That's going to be your safest, safest thing. And be careful because a lot of people, they walk into a McDonald's or they walk into a restaurant. You know what? They, you put down your backpack um, with most of your stuff in there and then you, you go to walk out and then somebody walks by and grabs all your stuff. Well, there's a way to get around that. They have these little devices, okay? And you, uh, Bluetooth devices. You can go, on, I forget what they call them, but you can, you can you, I ordered these like about maybe two years ago, what have you. Anyway, they're a little device and you put it on your, you, you can, it, it tells you how to put it on your phone or whatever. Whenever you walk so far away from that device, it sets off your phone. Now, if your phone or your backpack separates, both of them will go off. Okay, so it'll, it'll send a thing to your phone, it'll send a thing to the backpack, both of them will go off. So you'll hear your backpack going off and your phone will tell you, hey, you know, you need to go back and pick up, pick up your backpack. So you're never far away from your backpack. And that way there, you never have to worry about losing your backpack. You know, it, it's things like that. There's these little gadgets all over the, you know, all over the place now you can grab these things at at the um, Apple store you can grab them online you they have an app that goes with I have the app on my phone you know if I step far enough away out of Bluetooth range the thing goes off and I've actually had that thing go off a couple times when I'm leaving the house because I forgot my bag in the house and it tells me I forgot my bag not not that it was that's a big deal but I mean it, it helps you to remember things as we get older we tend to forget a lot of things let's face it one of the things I always forget is my bag um, I'm getting a lot better about that and that thing has kind of trained me to keep an eye on my bag all the time And I don't always carry a bag with me, but sometimes I do But I want to I want to cover that guys and make sure you always cover you have something with you In your wallet of who to call God forbid something happens to you You get hurt in the street you have a heart attack you have a stroke while you walk in the street or, or some, God forbid something happens really bad, you know that way there, when somebody finds you and you can't talk or whatever, they can look in there and they can they can contact that person and say, hey, listen, Joe Blow's up here in Manila in the hospital. You know, you, you, can you come up and pick him up? Or can you come come see him here and he's, he needs money? And that's another reason why you need money in, in your, in your, um, your, 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 your um, belt. If it's, you know, as long as you got that money in your belt, you're good. Um, some people want to carry more, more than hundred hundred dollars or five thousand pesos in there and that's great if you want to do that I think that's a good idea maybe maybe it might be worth it for you to carry two hundred dollars or ten thousand pesos in there you know but you always should have some money it's, at least you can get um, first aid started on you because you got that money so if you if you if you cut your leg or your foot or whatever you need to go into a hospital at least you got the money you can at least pay for that to get you started you know and that's a good thing and also, don't go out of your house with all your ATM cards and all your um, all your cards. Even though some people think that they should have those all the time, you should only carry like two things to pay with, okay? And make sure, and then and don't forget, you always have that money in your wallet, not in your wallet, in your belt, as a backup, too. If you if you God forbid you get stuck, and one of your cards don't work, or the computers are down, or something like that, at least you got something you can pay your bill or whatever, and then you can go from there. And that's what it's all about. It's all about staying safe here in the Philippines. And as long as you follow certain guidelines, and I'm sure other people are going to add more on here. And that's okay. I'll, you know, I, I allow that. You guys know um, it's all about staying safe here, and other people are going to add other things on here too. And the good thing about having that wallet, I mean, the, the um, belt is also having, um, you can hide your PIN numbers inside your belt too. Okay, and that's a good thing because it's always on you. So put your PIN numbers in your belt. When you get up in the morning, if that's your only belt that you use, it's always going to be on you. Use your money belt as the place to put your PIN numbers and all your stuff that you need, all your information that you need. Have it all in your belt. That's the best place to put it. It's the safest place to put it because if you wear that belt every day like I do, you're in. You're good. God bless, guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show.